squad, yo, listen to this pod show Worldwide, bro, you know how the vibe go Facts and law, we give it to you real or wrong Facts yeah. and law, yeah. we give it to you real or wrong, real or wrong. Real or wrong. Yo, facts and law. We back with another one. Another man. one? Yeah. How Let's you doing, get it, brother? Man, I'm blessed, bro. How you feeling, man? Hey, I'm just happy, man. Things are, you know, looking good. Yeah. You know, Life we we building this brick by brick. That organic you know what I'm saying? shit. Organically, you no did. paid followers. None of that you know payola I mean? shit. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Brick by brick. Last what two weeks? We was at not even at a. A not thousand? even at a thousand. Not even at a thousand. Now we, now we what? 26? 26, 27. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. It ain't well, quite Greg numbers, but you, you know. feel me? You <laughs> feel me? But we working. We building. You did. We building brick we by building, brick. We building, man. Feel me? And yo, if y'all checking this video out for the first time, or if you come to this channel for the first time, don't hesitate to hit the subscribe. Like that. Hit shit. that like button. You Share know what I'm saying? Shit. We need all that love, man. Yeah, yeah. All that support. You can yo. hate too. Yeah, you can hate because hey. we got plenty of those, man. Hey, and I Good come comments. hey, I come in the comments talking back. Good comments hey, you going can, crazy. Hey, hey, catch me catch me at the right time of day. I might got them and be back in that bitch talking some shit with you. <laughs> like somebody called us a uh, um Bef bozos. Not a yeah, they call us bozos. Both, yeah, they bozos. also call us something I was like, I don't even know what the oh, hell that is. Oh, they called us hoteps. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell is a hotel? Right, right. I'm like, I ain't no hoe. Right, what you talking what, about? What you talking about, bitch? <laughs> I ain't no hoe. Hey, right, but no, nah, it's all good. I told her what? And what I tell her? Thanks for the compliment. Exactly. Uh, you know, Appreciate you watching. Yeah, we need it. Watch that, next week. We gonna make you mad. <laughs> Um, yeah. So what we got going today, brother? Man, we got some some good folks from the big city of Chicago on the couch with us. You know what I'm saying? We'll yes, have sir. some have a good time, talk some shit. Talk some you know shit. what I'm saying? Uh, matter of fact, we're going to start off to my left, tell the people a little bit about you, you know what I'm saying, what you got going on, and you know what I'm saying, how you ended up here, Miss Paige. Um, my name is Paige. Um, I work in global talent acquisition for a software company. Um, I got here, I followed y'all maybe like a year ago. Oh, Damn. shit. Let's yeah. go. Yeah, you so did. I y'all for a minute. I appreciate um, that. And my Instagram is underscore Paige Alexis. How did that come about? You what you what you, you say a year ago, like how did you find us or I think um y'all may know some of my family actually. Okay, who that? Who? Uh Nikisha Mosley. Oh, wait. Okay. So that mean well, my wife is that's her first cousin. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, so, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah, I, yeah, I was just so. I was just out there with them and uh when the Tank Davis fight. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. In yeah. Vegas, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was out there with them. Um but yeah, that's that's basically my people too, yeah, you know what I'm like saying? Look at that. Not only are y'all facts along family, crazy. but y'all family. She family. gonna be she gonna be probably tweaking <laughs> when she see you <laughs> on here. Because look, one of her comments uh-huh blew up, blew up. yeah, yeah, yeah I remember that. comments I remember blew that. up on, on our video yeah so. yeah, yeah i remember that. I remember. yeah that. I so that's yeah. that's cool that's what's up that's dope that's dope now and then to the left of the page we got greg what's up greg tell them about you bro how y'all doing my name greg got me dead some people know me as cbmg grego um i do a lot of things i'm uh from the south side of chicago i'm a director I'm a writer, I'm a producer, I'm an editor, I'm a comedian. You want to call me a comedian? <laughs> right, 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 right. Actor. Um, you do music rapper, too. Yeah, you know, all man. that shit, right? Yeah, I basically do everything. Hey, Entertainer. Hey, hey. Got to, got to. What's so, bro, what's your, um, Joe, you got a joint going crazy on Tubi right now, right? Yeah, it's called Survive in Chicago. Hey, y'all go check that joint out. Survive in Chicago yeah. on Tubi. It stay trending on that boy, too. You yeah, know what I'm I saying? seen the trailer, man. I was like, this nigga crazy. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, you know, all that stuff based on a true story. Oh, oh word? shit. 50% real, 50% fake. Right, right, right. Hey. You got to interview me to based, know what's real. Based what's on the like, true story. Yeah, based. based. You know what I'm saying? So, you know. Some names might be changed and, and all that good shit. We know how it go. We know how it go. You What's dig? Up? How you end up here, bro? Man, I hear uh, Keontae on y'all platform. Yeah, my he dog. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I saw him on, I'm like, I like that platform. You know yeah. how I come out here. That's my dog, man. That's my dog. Me and, yeah, me and Tate been rocking for a while now, man. We've been waiting to work together, obviously. But, uh, you know what I'm saying, he had a chance to come sit down with us and... That's the homie, yeah, you know what I'm saying? For a while. And he works I'm consistently. That boy is is yeah. hey, he's for real about it. Yeah, it ain't know. no we, play. We've been in this ten years plus. I was yeah. with him when he first started when he was on a real awakening. The right way. You know what I'm saying? We was both on that same project. All right, for sure. So, so then you know uh I see too then. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's that's that's, that's my dog. That's yeah. my dog. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, you know this community ain't that big. <laughs> so for real, it's only like yeah. when you get into it and you see who's 
who yeah. and moving around, you're going to run into the same faces. Right. All right. And now, Ms. Bree, go ahead and uh, tell us a little bit about you and how you end up here tonight. Well, my name is Bree Nikhil. I am a singer-songwriter from Chicago, from the east side. East side of Chicago. East side, okay, okay. I don't, it's cool. The east side of Chicago. You know, it's over that way. Nah, I'm just <laughs> 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 Do I have to say that way? Not that way, sure. No, man. No, man. Um, I got here because I did a um, podcast on the treehouse with a young lady, and mm -hmm. uh, we became friends. And then I saw that she she was on your show. Oh, she, is that Orchid? Orchid, oh, yeah. that's the homie. What up, bro? Yeah, that's my homie. I love Orchid. Yeah, Orchid. I had an intense moment. Yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, oh. It wasn't with me. It wasn't no, with no, us. No, no, no. You know, it was on the yeah. show, though. Y'all might know. You know what I'm saying? Y'all yeah, might know. So, I was, I've been watching y'all for a couple of months. Like, okay, I'd love to be on there just to shoot the shit with them. That's what's up. You know? That's well, we so sure appreciate it. Yeah, we so sure appreciate it. You dig? You dig? All right. And now, Miss Evan... Evanita. Evanita. I was, you know, I ain't want to mess it up. I want to make sure I tell everybody about you, what you got going on, and how you end up on the on the Facts of Love Pod show. We said that plane goes past. Yeah. They don't even hear it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right, spirit. Yeah. Stop. Right. Stop all your conversation. Now, my name is Evanita Ren, and um, I I act, and I also have a beauty business. Um, what I'm working on now is um, like a program that I started already with young girls, like health, wellness, beauty, um, and just kind of like working on um, adding a few things to it, perfecting or whatnot. Um, so we started as an after school program. So I'm looking to grow that as well. Um, but I actually seen you on my birthday at the actors thing. Just before that. <laughs> yeah, but mm -hmm. that's what I'm saying. Yeah, when, but at the. Uh... It was the, what was the name? I don't want to mess up their name. We were at the Great Nova Studios, but it was an event that they had up there. I just forget the name of the, the Great Nova Studios, but it, I forget the name of the event that we were at. But keep going. You know what I'm saying? I was trying to remember it and shout them out, but. What's up? No. But, um, yeah, so, like, you know, I see you there, and then, um, you know, we're talking about the podcast, and, um, I mean, I'm here now. So. There we go. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Talking about some issues. That's what's up. And we're going to, you know, have a good time. We're going to, you know what I'm saying, talk some shit on facts and law, you know. But we ask the tough questions. and That's the tough answers. You did. Mm -hmm. nah, you feel it. me? Let's get so it, So what's man. up, bro? What's, what you got, man? What uh, you got? Let me see, man. This is for the women. Um, what do y'all think wifey material is? Is that uh, from? Oh, let me shout out Misfit. I'm Misfit. so sorry. Misfit. Yeah, hey, that was shout dope. you out. You oh, know, we ain't go live. I thought it was. I thought about it. Nah, we ain't live. But Misfit, good looking on this. You know what I'm saying? That's a good question. You know what I'm saying? Did y'all y'all heard that right? Mm -hmm. uh, but I mean, Greg, you can chime in. But this this right here is this. I want to hear their perspective on what they think wifey material is. And then I'm gonna come. I'm, I got one for you too. Yeah, yeah, I got yeah. one for you. So who gonna who gonna jump first on that? What do y'all think wifey material is? It's double Dutch. I don't care who so jumping the rope. We have to like. No. What do you think? List, so or? from your perspective, what do you think men look for as in wifey when they refer to wifey material? From your perspective. I mean, from like what I see, like growing up, or like what you. Okay, I'm not making this difficult. <laughs> Basically, not a whore. You know what I'm saying? You like respect your man. You know how to submit. You know, um, you know how to talk to him. You know, I feel like respect goes both ways, but you got to know how to um, talk to him. You have to know how to. I think what's important is like roles, like. <clears throat> like men have roles and women have roles and you have to decide like what works for you or whatever because that's gonna because everybody is not cookie cutter or whatever but i guess for the general consensus or whatever basically you not a whore respect your man um take care of the household meaning like take care of the household like like what you gonna like cook? Making sure if you're not cooking, if you have a chef, if you if you're not cleaning, if you have a maid, whatever, organizing and managing, yeah. making sure it's in order. You know what I mean? Um, and um, 
you know that like I feel like you guys should be able to talk to one another like you shouldn't um for any relationship you shouldn't have to walk on eggshells because that's like a whole nother thing and then what else what else I don't know. <laughs> what I have to work on because I'm not a wife yet. I'm trying mm. to see what I got to work on. Do you want to you want to be a wife? <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, I want to be married. Not everybody. Yeah, some <laughs> some people we found out in our comments <laughs> think that's the worst shit ever apparently. Yeah. Like it's baff it baffles me, but whatever. Who want to chime in on on that? Go ahead, Paige. Uh, she pretty much named everything that I would say not a whore, someone who respects themselves, uh can hold it down. Um a good head on her shoulders, a compassionate, caring, loving. Um, she's able to just do her part. Okay. What you think? D okay, I was a wife. Okay. So I'm going to come from being a wife to being in a home with the um, two-parent home. And I watched my father mm -hmm. be, you know, a husband to an impeccable wife, which is my mother. So I'll start there. Um... They were pastors, so it's like, I'm going to say, mm. a praying woman. Mm. You know what I'm saying? A God-fearing woman. A submissive woman. And submissive meaning, like, you submit to him, not just, you know, sexually, but spiritually. You know what I'm saying? Mentally, physically, emotionally. Every way you be there for him. You know what I'm saying? Um, when he can't pray for himself, can you do that? You know what I'm saying? When when he can't encourage himself, are you able to do that? You know, and so um, I think uh, being a good wife is also being able to know your role, like she said, knowing, you know, when to allow him to be a good husband. You know what I'm saying? Knowing how to step back, even though we know it's a lot of independent women in this world and we take out our, our own trash and we do, you know what I'm saying? But some men like to do that. You know, and I think that um, knowing your role as a woman, as a wife, you 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 kind of know like the ins and outs of the, and the do's and don'ts of what not to do, so you can make that man always feel like he's doing it. You know what I'm saying? Nothing more. A man loves nothing more than to feel like he's wanted. Indeed. Look, man, how we end up with three mature women saying that shit? Hey, listen. <laughs> real talk, listen, like real talk. So here's my thing. And I'll be honest. We thought that was going to be a bit more controversial of a yeah. question. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But y'all hitting it on the head. Yeah. So with that being said, Greg, you say you didn't really disagree with any of that. With what, what, would you add anything to that? No. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm I don't really have much to like counteract know, that. Right? But exactly. I'm on like, that, on that, I'm like, fuck. Right. <laughs> so wait, but wait. On that note, though, on the flip side, why do you think if those are the things that make wifey material in y'all eyes, why do y'all think it's so hard right now for some of our women to get married or to find themselves in that situation? <laughs> Say it again. Trauma. You know, mm. past relationships, men abusing us. You mm. know what I'm saying? Not like, even you mean men. abusing like physically? Mentally. mentally physically and emotionally. All right. Okay. What you? What would you say to that? Men are like... Everybody has to work on themselves. That's all I got to say. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I like that answer because I was going I'm, I'm going to come back to you on that. Right? You know what I'm saying? So you say everybody has to work on themselves, yeah, right? Yeah, people are fucked up. All types of shit going on. So, you got to, like, um, know who's for you and you got to know who's, who's, not with you, who's not with you, who's not on your team, who is, it, it'd be, like, little stuff because you got to know, like, who's in your corner or whatever, like, mm -hmm. if some shit go down or whatever. It's not even about, like, it's all types of stuff because, like she was saying, like, people, you know, being abused, it could be, like, mentally abused, it could be, like, physically abused and if you haven't went like healed or whatever or mm -hmm. had went through other whatever shit life whatever things you went through in life then you're not going to be able to be a good person um in your relationship marriage or whatever and that's like well i mean that should be for life i mean but if things happen that happens or whatever but you know that's like your partner in crime like that's who you're supposed to be with or whatever so yeah, I'm mad. I just feel like in today's society, it's it's hard because the way things are set up with like social media, music, like 
it's a lot of different factors that play a role in how we think today, like men think today, and it's it just it complicates things. Mm, like, mm, mm. So now, when you mention the abuse, right? Mm -hmm. We're not just talking about physical abuse, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So, in that being said, who do you think is more mentally or verbally abusive, men or women? Mm. Both. Because, yeah. listen, I've heard some stories. I know some things. Like, one thing about it, a woman's mouth <laughs> yeah. will cut as deep as they can, and they think it's nothing. You don't see men running to 